welcome the intervention by the National Department of Health to quickly speed up the intervention that must come to the metro. Clearly, one would notice that there has been a, a lack of providing the services that is highly needed during these difficult times. Um, the the, the ACT League in the metro is calling for the, the MEC to be replaced by someone that has expertise and knowledge within the medical fraternity. It's just that the headlines of Herald have, have had a mismatch between the detail of the segment and, and the head of the However, it is not an, an anomal, um, as you recall, that the current MEC of, 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 of Gauteng is a doctor, Manila Masuku. The Minister of, of Health currently um, is a doctor, Minister Mkhize. Before then, we had, we had uh, Minister Mutoledi. It is not an accident of history. It tells you that the, the, the health fraternity itself requires people which not only rely on, on, on organic interferism, but people that have a vast understanding and knowledge within such a technical uh, fraternity itself. So when we, it's not a personal uh, request, it's not emotionally based, but we're saying the pandemic uh, has, has actually proven to us that, look, whoever we deploy in a particular role, it must be someone that has a vast knowledge and understanding of the specific that is required for the role itself. What were the specific issues that came up during the week when the health minister came through? Look, look from, I'll, I'll, I'll take it as from the eye of an ordinary citizen. Because some of us don't sit in the boardrooms at the job. We live with our, our, our communities. There were serious problems of, of productive gears, your PPEs. You know, if you look at the statistics, you have more than a thousand people that are conducted. But if you look at the numbers of the people that have been tested and screened, they're very low. You 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 would you would by the manner in which uh, there's been a lack of the interface between the department and the society. The the, the statistics will will literally grow high from from the intervention of the minister. Going to that. So you, you, there is no proper link, there is no sense of a pulse uh, of, of from the department side uh, uh, to, to the community. And we've later realized that there are even vacancies within the department. Those vacancies that are supposed to be filled by people that will assist in fast tracking and dispatch the necessary uh, services that are required. So it is, as we've said, we, we, we really need an intervention as provided by the National Minister. But equally, let's get people that uh, have know how, let's get people that are proactive, let's get people that will that will follow children from the national from the national president on how to deal with a pragmatic approach in addressing the issue of COVID nineteen and beyond and beyond. As we report on an increase in COVID-19 infections in the country, uh, one of the highest numbers, in fact, the highest number comes from the Eastern Cape. Do you think this is because uh, uh, the province has jacked up I I its facilities and, and testing uh, capabilities? Look, look, there might be a number of reasons why, 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 why the Eastern Cape now is, is taking a lead. Could have been the, the exodus from other provinces before the lockdown. But, but in the main, it, I think it's, it's because of the lack of the department provincially beyond its, 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 its normalities to try and go back to our people, to try and, and, and apply the lockdown regulation rules, to try and provide all the necessary equipment required for, for, for the corona, coronavirus uh, pandemic to be kept. That's the essence. We need someone that will change the operas uh, approach of the department, someone that will be dealing with the issue head on so that we can be able to see better results. In the main, you need a proper strategy, uh, a MEC deployed to fundamentally address the issues that are facing our people in the, in the province. Eastern Cape Health Department spokesperson Cesar Cupello now joins us on the line to react on the call made by the ANC Youth League in Nelson Mandela Bay uh, for Health MEC Cindy Sokomba to be recalled and to be replaced by a medical doctor. Uh, Cesar, a very good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us and a warm welcome to SA Today. Uh, absolutely. Good afternoon to your viewers. You know, so much has been said about the state of readiness uh, for the province with regards to containing the spread of coronavirus. Do share with us, if you can, the state of readiness for the province. Well, we have been ready. You will recall that we were one of the last provinces to declare positive cases. And immediately after the announcement for the screening and testing campaign, we got on the ball. And as I'm talking to you now, we've uh, screened over 400,000 people in the province and we've tested over 9,000 people over the province. In one week alone in the Nelson Mandela Bay, we've managed to, uh, to screen over 20,000 people. And the numbers are also illustrating the fact that you've got positive numbers 
illustrate that uh, indeed we've got uh, health workers that are busy working on the ground to come up with these numbers. It, if it was not for that effort, you wouldn't be having these numbers. We now know we have an idea of what is happening in the province. And we were the first to, 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 to call and raise an alarm about funerals. The situation that we are sitting with at the, uh, in the Nelson Mandela Bay is as a result of two funerals. And as the situation that we're sitting with in Port St. John's is also linked to a funeral. Same with the issue that uh, we have in the PCM municipality. And we've got, for instance, again, in the Nelson Mandela Bay, we've got a total of 45 teams that are crisscrossing that uh, municipality, screening people, testing people. So there's a work that's being done. What I, wa I want to say, this is a crisis for everyone, and everybody needs to stand up and fight for the country and ensure that we do everything in our power to save the lives of our people. What we have seen in our province, is the total disregard of the regulations that have been announced by government. The Youth League in the Nelson Mandela Bay, I would like to appeal to them not to base their comments on newspaper reports where faceless people were quoted, despite the fact that the national minister gave an opportunity to journalists to present the plan that was agreed upon. That article distorted even the fact that the Deputy Director General, who's been assigned this responsibility in the Nelson Mandela Bay, is from Bishop in the Eastern Cape, not from national government. So we must fight this thing together. Stop criticizing. Uh, let's work together. What I would like to see is for the people of the Eastern Cape to realize the danger. And they must realize that the virus is here and it's spreading because people are not uh, uh, respecting the law we were in the nelson mandela bay you go there now in those streets in the township you only see lockdown in the suburbs but when you go to the townships people are just roaming around the youth league must come in and talk to our people to realize the danger you go to rural areas in this province people are just walking around spreading the virus we need people to work with us. Once the lockdown was announced, we saw people rushing into the province from, from other provinces. We need people to respect the law. They must realize the seriousness of the danger, the faceless enemy that we are dealing with. And it needs all of us to work together and stop blaming each other. This is not the time to politicize this crisis. The head of World Health Organization appealed to everyone, including world leaders, to say this is not the time for politics. If you do that, the virus will use and exploit that opportunity. Let's not, let's, let us not create divisions here. Let us confront this uh, a, a, a virus as a united force to save our people. Our people, they don't want stories. They don't want politics. They want tangible interventions. The concerns that are there, we do, not, we do not take them lightly. We take those concerns seriously. But there's work being done. The issue of PPEs is being addressed. We've already started procuring PPEs for our people because we are very clear as a department that we cannot send our people. We cannot we'll get to the politics in, the, in, in that province in a moment, uh, there, Mr. Kupelo. But then uh, this is certainly not a period to be clumsy. I mean, the health department in the Eastern Cape has been accused of not giving us daily updated information. And this is uh, potential breeding grounds for false information mm -hmm. to spread through. I mean, uh, we don't have the daily stats with regards to Per, per district, uh, per community, and the daily testing numbers. We don't have them because apparently we, we do understand that uh, those, uh, those stats are being dispensed to the health department but are not for public consumption. No, that is not true. We are issuing the statistics and uh, we've been uh, having press uh, briefings, talking to the people, talking to the people of the province through the media, uh, your station included. So we do try and communicate with our people and we are going to make every endeavor to ensure that the, the shortcomings and the, and the concerns that are being raised with regards to talking directly to the people are addressed. We've got plans to go into communities and, 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 and talk to them directly and also raise awareness about the dangers of, of, of the virus. 
But then there are lists circulating on social media purporting to come from the Joint Operations Centre, which do not necessarily align uh, with the provincial statistics that have been given to us. This is the problem. This is not the time for fake news. It starts with the media established respected media houses when they begin to quote faceless people during the time of fake news they are creating problems for everyone and also when there are official platforms to communicate with the people why do you choose to to release unauthorized information which is not necessarily authentic now you you so confidently confidently stated that the Eastern Cape province is so ready to contain the spread of coronavirus. I mean, all the mechanisms are in place to contain the spread of the coronavirus. But then uh, when it comes to the appointment of the key staff, the department lacks. I mean, just in just last year, yeah, 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 the yeah. chairperson yeah. of the hang on, hang on a second. The chairperson of the Health Portfolio Committee, Mkolisi Temanza, described the Nelson Mandela Bay Health District as the worst in the province and called for the urgent filling of the, the vacant posts that have been, you know, the, the vacant positions that have been left vacant. Uh, still, not that has happened. Uh, why do we have to wait for a pandemic uh, for the department to start taking the issue of uh, appointing key staff important? There are processes that have to be, uh, to be followed. You don't just uh, appoint people anyhow. There are processes, and those processes were already underway. This is why we're in a position now to appoint the chief director to be responsible for the Nelson Mandela Bay, not only the Nelson Mandela Bay and other districts, because there has been a review of the of the of the organogram uh, for health district uh, system and then we've got uh, these appointments that have been made and we expect the person to assume duties uh, on the first of may so that process has always been underway it's not a process that was started last week because you've got to ensure that you do things in line with the laws that govern uh, and the policies that are uh, uh, directors on how to do things within the government space all right, Mr. Ciso Cupello, the Eastern Cape Health Department spokesperson, joining us on the line. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks. And we wrap the